Good afternoon, colleagues. Welcome back. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Monica Michelin Salomon, who is the Minister for Causeway Tollcross Church of Scotland in Glasgow. Thank you. Presiding officer, members of Parliament, everyone here, I would like to express my sincere appreciation for the opportunity to address you this afternoon. I am Italian by birth, Scottish by adoption, ordained in the Waldensian Church and currently serving in the East End of Glasgow. Virginia Woolf once wrote, as a woman, I have no country. I want no country. My country is the entire world. To me, it applies well with a distinct preference for wild and untamed places. Tolkrosh Shetterson Parish is one of them. Challenging and demanding as many that inhabit the place. It is known as a multiple deprivation location. Often prejudices are the only available narrative about the place. Often partial, often unkind categorizing. I have one example to the contrary. The church became involved in hospitality towards another Christian denomination almost by accident. A group of Eritrean asked permission to worship in the sanctuary. Their congregation is almost entirely formed by young refugees, predominantly males, 70 members and growing. Most of them had a treacherous journey across land, desert, and sea to get here. And despite it all, they have an unwavering faith and a hopeful look on the future and on humanity itself. So worship now on a Sunday is in Italian Scott in the morning, Presbyterian, and Tigrinia, Coptic Orthodox in the afternoon learning to share the same place and to accept each other has not always been easy for some was an innate instinct for others a learning curve still for all involved it has been a profound experience of growth and acknowledgement of interconnectedness we knew it we knew it intellectually we knew it here but to know it wholeheartedly is a completely different matter. It is a change of perception that will never be forgotten. So once on one of the guys backpack, a sticker was noticed that read Mediterranean hope. And I knew of that project as a project based in Lampedusa, an island outside Sicily and funded by the eight per thousand of the Waldensian Church. In that one life saved, we found a deep connection between countries, traditions, and customs, raising above all distinctions, humanity at its very best. This is the East End too. People battling to survive through many adversities, addictions, mounting debts, but still open and willing to learn and to change, and generous, generous to a fault. And in the midst of it all, there is the church that may be small in numbers, but not in efforts, tirelessly working in hospitality with community-based groups, food banks, and charities, in and outside Scotland, making God's love felt one life at a time. 